Have you ever lost a parent that had someone swoop in to take care of you who didn't really have the right credentials? Ever had to navigate your sibling's love life who also happens to have autism? Do your friends dislike the person you love? Well, poop, that's a lot. Lucky you, I've got a show for that. Free forms, everything's gonna be okay. So why aren't you watching it? Anyone who's lost someone will give this show a nod for its true to life spotlight when it comes to losing someone. But don't let that deter you because this show is actually a comedy. Josh Thomas, who plays Nicholas, is also the show creator, writer, and was the youngest ever to win the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. So not only is it packed with authenticity, it is packed with lots of laughs. His preteen sister, Genevieve, youngest actress to ever perform at Boston's Women in Comedy Festival, is the one who often has to coach Nick on how to deal with life, dating, and their artistic sister, Matilda. Also in this show, you don't know whether to think Nicholas and his boyfriend Alex belong together, or if they really need to just shh or get off the pot. Their relationship is the perfect example for those of you out there who love somebody, but also think you might not. We've all been there. I like them. I hate them. I'm confused. I'm in love. They're annoying. They're the one. How do I get out of this? This show will hit all those heated emotions when you see how difficult it is for Matilda to get people to see past her autism. There's an episode that deals with sex, and when we finally hear from Matilda after an entire debacle, you realize most of us take for granted our ability to be heard. Oftentimes, Matilda isn't heard as clearly as she would like because her thoughts are often overshadowed by her autism. Overall, this show deals with ways to cope, ways to love, and ways to overcome. With that, let's rate this on my emoji scale, shall we? I give Freeform's Everything's Gonna Be Okay, dun dun dun, one of these, because it deserves a fist pump for showing us all the ways people cope with death. One of these, because it took me back to my school days and reminded me of how yucky kids can be and I totally broke out in anxious sweats. One of these, because this show is filled with so many unexpected moments of joy, you'll catch yourself smiling long after it's over. One of these, because it's embarrassing how Nicholas assumes that throwing ceviche on someone would be read as romantic. And finally, one of these, because there's a part where they go play drag queen bingo, and it makes you wonder why anyone would ever play regular bingo ever again. Phew. You made it to the point where I zip it up and you go watch Freeforms, everything's gonna be okay. I've been your host, Tara Erickson, and would love for you to check out my IMDb, I act too, or my own YouTube channel, Insta or Twitter, and say hi. I'll see you next week with another choice pick for Why Aren't You Watching?